Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Koholayim La, Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Now, as you see on the screen, man, it's a picture of a lion. And what does it say at the bottom? Almost out the cage, man. Almost out the cage. And, you know, spiritually right now, Israel is already out that cage. But once your Hawa Shimmy Hawa Shai gives us the green light to, you know, get busy. You, know, you see the phone at the chime in on that. Okay, once your Hawa Shimmy Hawa Shai gives us a green light to get busy, it's a wrap, man. Okay? Because look, man, the Lord got us out here fishing. Okay, for the hopeful elect through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But once Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai put that spirit on us to hunt and to start judging according to his will, it's a wrap, man. So without further ado, man, let me shut the hell up and let's let the Bible talk. And oh, Salakia, man, um, I got this uh, beautiful picture from the beloved elder Yasha Wamba's page, man. The brother always posting some beautiful stuff, man. The water elder, you know, for putting these putting this picture up, and you got a few other pictures I'm probably going to take and do lessons to, uh, lessons to, uh, so like your lessons from the truth that you posted, so like I'm I'm excited to, to bring this lesson out, but man, without further ado, man, for water uh, elder for for doing that, let's let's get to the scriptures, let's let's let this Bible talk, okay? This is going to be the book of Joshua, chapter two. I'm gonna read verses ten to eleven, and it reads this. For we have heard how Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of Egypt, and what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side, Jordan, Shion, and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we heard, Selakia, and as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did their Remain any more courage in any man. Do you, and the Lord's going to bring this back, man. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is going to bring back this terror, this fear upon the earth. Okay, his power is going to be known, and it's going to be known not to mess with his children, the nation of Israel, man. Joshua chapter 2, verse 11 again. And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of because of you, for Yahweh, your power, he is the most high in heaven above and in earth beneath. And the Lord is going to reestablish that, man. The Lord is going to put fear in every nation, man. Okay? Fear, fear, fear for him, for fear in his name, his power, his might. Okay? His majesty, everything, man. And he's also going to put that fear in all these other nations to, to, ne to never come against his children, the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, the nation of Yasharala, man. I'm going to read verse 11 again, man. It's so beautiful when, when you read it, man. Joshua 2, verse 11 again. And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. And the Lord's going to bring that back, man. Okay, your hearts are going to melt. You're going to realize, you know, all those fake gods that you've been worshiping have been nothing but idols, man. Okay, we have the living power, man. The true power. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. And as soon as we did, so like, and as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For Yahweh, your power, he is the most high in heaven above and in earth beneath. And the Lord's going to bring that back, man. So get ready, man. Y'all might as well live it up. Do whatever you want to do right now because the Lord's going to put that fear back in your heart, man. Okay, you're going to bow before his name. Okay, you're going to bow before Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai and his children, the Israelites, man. Okay? A ain't nobody going to have no might, no courage, no, no nothing. Ain't going to be no sideways talking, no murmuring, no anything, man. Okay? Because right now what you're seeing is the Lord setting up his people, man. Okay? Almost out the cage, we out the cage, man. Let's go to the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Because we standing bold, man. 
We standing bold as hell, man. And we're going to continue to stand bold, man. Okay, we only fear our, our father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh We don't fear Esau. We don't fear, fear Elam. We don't fear Ishmael. We don't fear Ham. Fuck you, other nations, man. Okay? Fuck you, other nations, man. Period, man. If you don't like how I'm talking, please unsubscribe and exit left, man. Okay? Because we give it to you raw and uncut. No filter. No Vaseline, man. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors. And that's what you see, man, every single day, man. Putting up these lessons, standing in great boldness on the highways and the byways, standing in great boldness, man. Telling these cave gorillas uh, 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 that, that, that they're going into captivity. And you other heathens, man, read, reading, uh, reading uh, your, your transgressions, okay? Serving you your, your arrest warrant, man. Okay, your how about Shimmy how is gonna handle the rest, man? We out here reading, reading all your iniquities, your transgressions, your sins, all that, man. Your abominable works, your abominable acts, all the filth that you've done, man. We out here declaring it on, on, on these lessons and out here on the highways and the byways, man, standing boldly, man. Okay, because every every damn captivity that we have been in has prospered because of us, man. Not because of you, because of us, man. Everything that's righteously built to help that, that, that society. To, and, and the phone had to chime in on that. Everything that, that's righteously built in, in every society was by us, man. And we're going to prove that, man. Okay? Almost out the cage. We out the cage, man. But right now, we're spiritual. We're humble, man. Okay? We're not carnal, man. But guess what? When you hire by Shim Yahusha, give us the green light. It's a wrap, man. It is a wrap. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness, which we do, man. We don't give a damn if you see us, if you scoff, if you mock, if you walk past the camp. We don't give a shit about that, man. Okay, we fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We are madmen, insane men for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors. They, 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 they've given us no, no uh, uh, credit, no acknowledgement for what we've done, man. Okay, this devil, man, the only thing this devil's done is, make, is made the fucking patent, man. Yes, the patent. But let's continue, man. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. We're going to get all that back. We're going to get everything back that belongs to us, man. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 16, and it reads this. Behold, I will send for many fishers, say if Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and they shall fish them. And that's what we're doing, man. When we out here putting up these lessons, when we out here in the highways and the byways, we fishing. The Lord is using his vessels, his seers, his prophets to fish, man, to gather his people, man, that he, that he, that he had uh, uh, chosen before the creation and the foundation of the earth, man. The predestinated souls, man, spirits, man. And they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And we are patiently waiting to hunt. We are patiently waiting to, to, to be able to, to snatch you heathens up, man. To be able to put you in subjection, man. To be able to, to, to have the, the, the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah upon earth, man. Righteousness, man. Balance, man. Okay? Forever. Yes, forever, forever, ever, yes, forever, ever. To be able to put you, 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 you proud, pompous ass Edomites in the captivity, man. To be able to have everything back in its rightful order, man. To be able to breathe a, a correct air without pollution in it, man. To be able to eat food that's not tainted with, man. We are just patiently waiting to be hunters, man. Patiently waiting to be hunters, man. Because what did, what did Jehoshua, a.k.a. Joshua, say back in, back in those days when he was taking us to the promised land? What did he say, man? And that's what the Lord is doing again right now. The Lord is doing this again right now as we speak. One second, let me get to it. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 10. And I'm going to read verses 24 to 25, and it reads this. And it came to pass, when they brought out those kings unto Jehoshua, that Yahweh called for all the men of Israel. Now, if you're not familiar, Joshua's name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Okay, that's why I'm saying Yahweh But I'll read it again and say Joshua. 
Joshua chapter 20, uh, Joshua chapter 10, verse 24. And it came to pass when they brought out those kings onto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel. OK, which which Yahweh is going to be calling all, all the men of Israel and said unto the captains of the men of war, which went with him, come near, put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And that's what we doing, man. Do we are spiritually putting our feet? our feet upon these kings necks right now spiritually man by going out here speaking this truth exposing these devils for who they are these these higher uh, uh elites man as they call themselves the enlightened ones the, the uh the light bearers as they say okay we we got our feet on their neck man and, we, and we're applying pressure every time we speak every time we speak we apply pressure, man. Every time we say the names Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Yahweh Yahweh Shai we apply pressure man Every time we say that we're Israel and not black, we apply pressure. Every time you say you're not Hispanic and you're an Israelite, you apply pressure. Every time you, you say you're the tribe of Gad or Reuben and, and you're not a damn savage, you apply pressure, man. And it came to pass when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel and said unto the captains of the men of war, which went with him, come near. Put your foot upon the necks of these kings, and they came there and put their foot upon the necks of them. And that's and then right now, that's the that's the hopeful elect, which we pray to be the elect, are doing right now, man. We're coming there, man. Out in the highways and the byways, speaking this truth, man. Don't give a damn how you people look at us, man. Don't give a damn what you heathens and, and our people think, man. Okay, we 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 know it, man. And we fear the Lord, man. We we see the Lord's marvelous works coming out right now, man. Okay, and when, we, and when we read these scriptures, we get a clear depiction of what the Lord do, man. We had that, we tremble at Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah's name, man, because we know his might. But right now, the Lord has his men, man, put, putting that, applying that pressure, okay, on, on, on you heathens, man. Verse 25, and Joshua said unto them, fear not. We don't fear you heathens, man. Fear not. Nor be dismayed, be strong and of good courage. And every man out there, man, hey, look, man, it ain't hard to tell, man. It's good courage, man. Okay, all still men being built up, back, becoming men again, man. Real men. Not men of this world of, or this society, but real men of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. And Joshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed, be strong and of good courage. For thus shall Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. We ain't got nothing to worry about, man. We have nothing to worry about, man. Point blank, period, man. Okay, because the Lord also said this too, man. Let's let the Bible talk, man. The Lord is working through us, man. He's working through his men. <clears throat> and he's going to continue to keep on working through us. Salakia. All right, so this is uh, back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. I'm going to go directly to the point. I'm going to read verses 17 to 20, and it reads this. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor and make the creature, and that creature, who's that creature? That's the nation of Israel, man. Okay, and we're going to prove that, man. Okay, matter of fact, we're going to prove that in the next scripture. <clears throat> he shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. Okay? For the revenge of his enemies. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of a an helmet. He shall take holiness for an invisible seal, shield. <clears throat> so like it. Verse 19 again. He shall take holiness for an invisible shield. His severe wrath. His severe wrath, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, severe wrath, shall he sharpen for a sword, and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. And who is that world he's talking about? The nation of Israel, man. We are that world. We're the only world that he cares about, man. We're the only world that he loves, man. You have different worlds in, in, in this captivity, in this society, man. You got Sea World, the world of the NBA, the world of the NFL football. Okay, you got different worlds, man. Cosmos. That's that's what it means. Cosmos, different worlds, a certain government, man. Okay, and let's prove that, man. And that's what the Lord's gonna do. I'm gonna read this again, man, because it's beautiful, man. Wisdom of Solomon 5, verses 17 to 20. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor, man. Okay, because the Lord, man, there's no there's no uh, uh, balance, 
There's no uh, knowledge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh on the earth, but 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 amongst uh, uh, the hopeful elect, man. And make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemy, and we are that creature, man. And the Lord's going to use us. And I'm going to prove that through the next scripture that the Lord is going to use us to get revenge on his enemies, man. Which the Lord don't have to use us. Man, you how about Shemal Kanshak can do whatever the hell he wants, man. Okay? Whatever he wants, man. He can have a damn piece of paper out here prophesying his words, man. The Lord don't need us, man. And that's why you have to have humility, man. That's why you have to be thankful. That's why you have to be sincere, man. Realize that, man. Get out of that proud, pompous ass spirit, Jake. The Lord does not need us, man. Verse 18, he shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of a helmet. And that true judgment is right happening right now, man. It's a prelude to the judgment because, man, look, man, this, this is nothing but a, a court trial right now. OK, OK, we're, we're, we're the plaintiffs and you got the defendants, the main ones, you know, all the heathens. But the main one is Esau. Then you got Yahweh, why Yahweh shot being a judge. It's, it's already it's already signed, sealed and delivered, man. And the jury is uh, uh, Israel, man. It's a wrap, man. It's it's a it's a win win for us, man. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of an, an helmet. He shall take holiness for an invisible shield. His severe wrath shall be sharpened for a sword, and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. And that world is 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 Israel, man. Let's go to the next scripture to prove that he's going to use us, man. That we're that creature that he's going to use. Let's go to this next scripture. This is going to be the book of Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51. I'm going to start off at verse because I made a point earlier that, that we that every every captivity that we've been that we've been in, everything that was righteously made to make that cat that captivity prosper was done by us. So I'm going to start from there to prove that point, And then I'm going to prove the next point. This is Jeremiah 51, verse 19 to 20. The portion of Yaquab is not like them, for he is the former of all things, all righteous things. All things through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. So every everything that's man, you, the car, the washing machine, the dryer, the refrigerator, the AC, the the, the traffic light, the, the the firmament for the uh, the light bulb, okay, uh uh uh, uh the internet. Okay, the cell phone, everything that's righteously made in this place to help this place prosper was made by our people, man, our nation, man. Okay, the next verse is going to prove that the Lord's going to use us. Verse 20, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war for with thee, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And look, man, as you see on the screen, almost out the case. So look, man, the Lord, man, let me read it again, man. Uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Hey, man, yeah, hey, look, we, we are patiently waiting for that, for, that, for that time, man. For that green light to be uh, 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 given to us, man. Okay, for us to, to, to get the A-OK, -okay, and, and, and to get that spiritual power and, and, and those new bodies to, 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 to start putting in work, man. Okay, to start doing doing this business, man. Okay, but right now we're spiritual and we're always going to be spiritual. But right now we're humble. We're not carnal, man. Period, man. But when the Lord, man, when the Lord get, puts, that, puts that righteous indignation on us, man, when the Lord puts his anger on us, it's a wrap, man. Let's close out here, man. The points, man, because I'm telling you right here, uh, uh, you heathens, man. You don't want to see this right here. This is the book of Joshua, Yahweh Shai, chapter 23. And I'm going to start at verse 8 because y'all don't want to see this right here, man. And this is what we do. Joshua 23, starting off at verse 8 and then at 10. But cleave unto Yahweh your power as ye have done unto this day. And that's what the whole full elect do. We cleave unto the Lord in every aspect of life, man. Every every avenue, every path of life, we cleave on to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse nine, for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai have driven out from before you great nations and strong, and He's going to do it again. 
Okay? He's going to show his power. Okay? He's going to put fear. He's going to make you nation's heart melt, man. He's going to put fear to let you know that he's the only power. Okay? And that his children are going to be exalted with him, man. For Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah have driven out from before you great nations and strong. But as for you, no man have been able to stand before you until this day. And that's going to be put back in us, man. You're not going to be able to come against Israel. And furthermore, even, even with us being in the curses, man, you still can't come against us, man. Even with us being at the bottom, you still can't see us physically, hand in hand, combat. Okay, no, you, 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 every nation has warriors, man. But when it comes to the nation of Israel, man, y'all cannot see us, man. When it comes to physical combat, man, hand in hand combat, <clears throat> y'all can't see Israel, man. Okay, our, our spirits and our bodies are completely different. <clears throat> Verse 10. <clears throat> One man of you, I can't wait for this, for this, for this to happen, man. One man of you shall chase a thousand. One man, one Israelite man chasing a thousand heathens. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For Yahweh, your power, he he it is that fighteth for you, as he have promised. So look, man. We're gonna have the spirit of Yahweh by Shin Yahweh shall glowing upon us, man. One man chasing a thousand, man. One Israelite man chasing a thousand with the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shin Yahweh shot on him, man. So as the picture says, almost out the cage. And this is just a prelude of a few scriptures. I could have brought out numerous scriptures to prove this point, man. But this is a prelude of what's to come, man. So live it up. Enjoy your wicked, abominable uh, uh, queendom, Esau. Because when Yahweh by Shin Yahweh shot put that put that spirit on us, man, it's a wrap. Ain't nothing you can do. So, Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this was edifying and uplifting to the beloved, hopeful, sincere, and truthful Akiam. So, with that, I'm just going to say, Shabbat Shalom.